my boys and girls. It's Miss McCorder. Um, I thought I decided that I'm going to uh, make some videos of me reading some of my favorite science books. Um, I know it's not the same as us reading it together in class, but I thought this way at least um, you'd get to hear the stories that I would share with you if we were together. So today I have If Your Smile If You're Human by Neil Layton. This is a very silly book. Okay. okay. Here we are landing at a place I've watched to or have wanted to visit my whole life. It's a planet called Earth. On planet Earth, there are many animals. I've brought my camera and hope to take a picture of a most unusual creature known as a human. We thought we saw one hopping around in a green circular thing. Is that a human? I asked my mom. What do you guys think? Is that a human? No. Mom looked in her book. Oh, look at all this interesting alien language. This jumpy fellow is a kangaroo. Humans like to walk. Hmm. So they're making criteria to figure out what the human is. We spotted another animal. I got my camera ready. Look, Dad, humans are covered with stripes. What do you think? That's not a human. Hmm, said Dad. I don't think so. They don't have tails and they mostly stand on two feet. I raced ahead. So now they've gotten two more criteria. So they know humans walk, they walk on two legs, and they don't have tails. I raced ahead. What about these? They walk on two feet and they seem very smart. They must be humans. You think that's enough to figure out what a human is? They are smart, said dad, but they're penguins. Humans don't have wings or webbed feet. Mm, so now they're narrowing it down. Just then I looked way, way up and was sure I'd discovered a human. Wow, they're really tall. Some humans are tall, Mom explained, but not that tall. This is a giraffe. We looked around nearly the whole planet. Is that the whole planet? That's not the whole planet. In the last house, we saw a mysterious creature peeking out. Oh, they're right here. Does that look like it might be where a human would live? Maybe. We got closer and I could see that it was the most stupendous animal ever. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. It could do with a haircut though. And they're reading Alien's Guide to Earth. So they think they finally found the humans. Let's see if they really did. I studied my camera, took careful aim, and click. And here it is. They don't have tails or wings or webbed feet. They don't have great hoppers or all that tall. But one thing for sure about humans, they have the greatest smiles. Is that a human? Hmm. But did it match their criteria? It did. It doesn't have a tail, didn't have wings or webbed feet. It wasn't hopping and it wasn't that tall. And it did have a great smile. And now they're leaving back to their planet. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you liked Smile If You're Human.